This is the Headsprint Pro 3.5. It is the clay version and this tennis shoe is lightweight, it is fast and it is used by Marin Cilic. Yeah, the big Croatian guy plays in this lightweight nimble shoe. That sounds very interesting. So guys, check out my full review. Tell us how you're feeling, Wimbledon champion again. I mean, obviously uh, over the moon with the uh, joy and happiness of, of uh, experiencing this moment once again. I've said it many times, you know, this tournament is uh, extra special for me because it has been the first tournament that I've ever watched as a kid that got me to, to start playing tennis. Hello tennis guys and welcome to my channel. So in this review, I will be talking about this lightweight tennis shoe. It is the most lightweight tennis shoe from head. And I have been reviewing this shoe, the previous generations for the last three years. So I have quite history with these shoes. I always mostly like them or almost I love these shoes, but there are a few, few issues few problems that I don't particularly like so we will talk about it in this video but as usual let's start with the weight of the tennis shoe because that is something I'm really focusing on when buying a new tennis shoe I love lightweight and ultra lightweight tennis shoes and this is let's say in the sweet spot it's not the ultra lightweight but it is a lightweight tennis shoe so in the size which i'm having right here the size for me it is the uk 10 and a half us 11 and a half european size it is 45 and in centimeters it is 29.5 so in this size the shoe weights just 370 gram so it's not the lightest shoes on the market by far not because the lightest shoes I've tested were about 330 to 320 gram the Wilson Chaos Swift for example super super lightweight and these are a little bit heavier and that's why because reason for that is because they have this big uh, shank or what is it's called this protection on the back which is made of plastic and obviously the plastic material is the and the rubber is the heaviest part of the shoe so what is interesting that Marin Cilic the big creation guy is playing in this super lightweight shoe and when I'm always talking about shoes I'm I'm talking about how heavy guys should play with heavier tennis shoes to to get protected to get more stability because the more you weight the more protection and stability you actually need but Marin Cilic is a tall guy but a slim guy and what is most important he really knows how to move on the court with precision with a uh, I would say with easiness and he knows how to lay his feet on the ground in a really in a really easy and gentle manner so if you are the type of guy and it doesn't matter if you are like one 190 centimeters tall and you are like 85 kilos if you know how to lay your feet on the ground and if you are running most of the times and you are sliding let's say very gently on the clay cord because this is the clay version then this shoe can work for you as for Morin Chilich. so why not guys why not so as usual I will start with the upper so when we look at the upper it's mostly a woven upper or meshed upper or woven woven it's a better term because the mesh is something that breaks very quickly but this is the woven upper very stretchy very elastic so there is no break in period in this shoe as you can see you can 
do this very easily the shoe is quite flexible because the outsole is very thin compared to other shoes that's why the shoe is so light so the upper woven upper with some protection on the toe there is this quite big toe guard and obviously this part which is the drag guard and here comes my let's say first negative experience with the shoe so this part of a tennis shoe and especially when you are a slider when you're sliding sliding on the court aggressively and it doesn't matter if you are sliding on clay or on a hard court if you know that if you can slide on hard court so this part is uh, usually heavily damaged during the season and that's why there is this protection but when I look at the right right shoe I already noticed that this part is coming coming of the shoe this part and this part so as you can see as you can see I'm not sure if you can see it but it is going off the shoe so this is my first negative thing and the reason for that why it is breaking in this part is that it is glued it is glued to the upper and that is always something very let's say uh, it can it can break quite easily because glue yeah we know that glue when you glue rubber to rubber it can it it can really go off uh, quite quickly so so that's why I like shoes uh, that that glue the, that glue the protection and also that stitches the protection to the shoe but the problem is when you have a woven upper and you stitch it when you stitch the rubber to the woven upper you can easily break the woven upper by doing the stitches so that's why it is made only with the glue and as you can see it's not holding very well and i've played just a couple of hours in these shoes so that's a that's a small or at the end it can be a big disappointment for these shoes so anyway these are not the durable tennis shoes you are not buying these shoes for durability no way by no means so this is a fast shoe this is a lightweight shoe and that's why the durability you need to count with the lower durability so probably for someone who is playing really regularly like three four times in a week these will you will need to buy like two pairs in a season not just one pair so yeah that's something you need to count with what i what i quite like is the the delta strap technology this is the lacing system it is used on almost uh every shoe by head so there are these straps that go through the shoe you can't see it but it goes through the shoe and when you when you when you pull the laces it is very uh snug and it really uh fastens your feet in the shoe very well what i don't like what i don't like is the tongue the tongue is small guys the tongue is too small it's too short i don't i'm not sure why did they make it so small and short so one centimeter longer tongue it would really be better when you are tightening tightening the laces because this is on the let's say on the limit so when you lace it when you're tightening the laces it might go actually the laces might go over the tongue slip over the tongue and they will be uh you will be lacing the, the the laces over your over your foot and that's not good that's not good so on the back of the shoe there is this massive uh sta stabilizer let's say that stabilizes the tennis shoe it's something that is 
very well known for the Sprint Pro series. It has always been there. For some people it might feel stiff, but actually uh, the, the overall feel of the shoe is stiffer because it is a more nimble shoe with less material, less padding. So overall the feel of the shoe is quite stiff and hard. So you need to count that in. Now if we look at the shoe, you can see that the, this back part is quite high, but it's not actually that high. The reason for that it looks like it is very high is that this this part is cut out uh, very deep. So this is another issue I have with these shoes. So if you cut out this part, once again, you lose the feel that you are protected inside the shoe. So your, uh, your ankle is going up from the shoe and you don't feel protected in this part of of the feet so that's something i don't like that i don't like too so i like shoes that give me more protection at this place so so it's a shame they don't they don't make the the edges a little bit higher there so you feel really snug in the shoe so when we look at the when we look at the padding or at the cushioning so this is something that has been there for for several years now so uh, head is using the tri energy cushioning foam and this foam consists of let's say three types of foam but at the end you don't notice that you you actually feel that this foam is very hard maybe it is now a little bit softer than in the previous generations in the version 3.0 but still it is very hard to compare to other shoes i reviewed so once again what does it mean if you have hard cushioning you will have great feel for the ground and that's something what I really like about these shoes but you need to know how to lay your feet on the ground you really need to move on the ground like a tiger or like a lion so it's not for everyone for everyone not at all this shoe is really crafted for for um, for a group of people that enjoys their let's say the raw feeling and that are are dependent or depend are dependent on their feet rather than on the shoe so so i would i would say that if you are the guy who likes let's say barefoot barefoot walking barefoot running this is a shoe that is uh going or coming closer to the barefoot style because you really feel uh, every every inch of the ground under your skin so now we are coming to the outsole and there is something once again that i like and i don't like so what is interesting that head is using this uh this tunnel which is the cooling system by the way if you look at the shoes that is wearing Marin Cilic he doesn't have this tunnel he has full outsole there and I know why because if you have a full outsole there once again you have more stability so this actually reduces a little bit the stability but once again it makes the shoe a little bit lighter and of course the reason why it is there is the cooling system so the cooling system works like this so when you buy the shoe when is the shoe brand new now i'm putting out uh the insole which is a which is a very good insole by the way a very good quality and you look at like this there are the holes so if you look at the shoe there are holes too so the air can come through the shoe but if you buy the shoe brand new and you take out the outsole you can see 
that there is actually a small piece of paper and you need to peel it off to make the cooling system work otherwise if you don't like the cool air that is coming from the bottom of the shoe if you don't like that airy let's say airy feeling you can just put some tape over it and it's done so obviously you need to count in that through these small holes there will be always some clay and dirt coming through the shoe so maybe you like it maybe not i did play with opened cooling system and i liked it actually and it helps you to cool your feet when you're playing in summer on a hot tennis court it will definitely help you and i like that so i use that so i usually I usually use all the technologies that are in the shoes because they are engineered for for a reason so yeah so i will put the insole into the shoe later but back to the outsole so the outsole is made of the hybration plus rubber which is the premium rubber it is the best rubber that is offered from head and as you can see the herring bones are very very thin and the spaces between each herring bones is very very small what does it mean will this shoe work on a clay with uh, with the, let's say the biggest biggest bigger pieces of the clay well actually not so well so this outsole is uh, very good for clay which is very fine clay clay with very very small pieces of of the yeah of the clay let's say so there are like three three four types of clay actually on the market so there is the clay with zero and up to 0 0.1 millimeter or 0. Point, uh, sorry 0 up to 1 millimeter thick pieces of clay and there are uh, different types of clay like 0 up to 2 millimeters and 0 up to 3 millimeters pieces of clay so the bigger the pieces of the clay the less will this shoe work because it won't bite well into the shoe with uh, into the clay core with a bigger pieces of clay so that is something i was always criticizing and head is actually one i believe only company that actually uses this very uh, fine type of herringbone outsole pattern for clay so if you look at the other shoes from head like the revolt pro or what do they have uh i'm not sure now uh the the revolt evo or the evo shoe sprint evo i'm not sure uh so they use actually another outsole with a with a thicker uh herring bones and i like that more so i'm not sure why they use it but they just maybe want to give this shoe uh let's say uh, some special some special feeling but yeah the feel with the shoe is great i like that i like that very much and if you get used to all these little let's say flaws i mentioned this shoe is actually very very good and especially for someone who knows how to move on the court so this is also this part is also a little bit stabilizing the shoe so it doesn't twist too much and as i said before this shoe is in this part very flexible because the cushioning is very thin and hard so guys this is a quite controversial shoe there are lots of issues that i talked in this review and you need to count them in when you're buying this shoe but on the other hand the feel and the the, the sensation that that you are you are really like uh 
connected to the ground. It's like when you're playing really a barefoot, a barefoot in a barefoot shoe. So that is something that is really special for these shoes. So uh, the negative things are big, but also the positive thing that the feel that the feel for this shoe is really really great and and you don't you don't know that you are wearing these shoes when you play in them so that's that's really something that can that can work for some of you so guys this was my review for the Headsprint Pro 3.5 clay version this shoe is worn by Marin Cilic and yeah Cilic doesn't have this he has the full flat herring bones there and yeah beside the negative things I actually like this shoe so I can recommend it but be 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 beware or be warned that the durability is the not is not the best by far but we need to count that when we are buying a lightweight tennis shoe so guys let me know in the comments whether you like head tennis shoes whether you like this particular version whether you played in these shoes or if you heard something something from your friends from your uh from your surroundings from your tennis uh fellows so yeah and as always you can support my channel by doing two things you can buy me a coffee the link is below in the description and you can buy these t-shirts. So this is the Serena Williams t-shirt. It's a limited special edition. I will put a link on my shop below. And this is obviously, you know, this Swiss guy. Yeah, he was quite good. He played really good tennis. He retired recently on Labor Cup. Yeah, quite good, quite a good guy. Yeah, you know him, FedEx. Yeah. So these are the two limited editions with this sign, with this text, Goddess of Tennis and God of Tennis, limited only 1000 pieces. And on the back of the shirt, there is this tennis guy logo. Okay, it looks nice. And yeah you can buy them so and you can support me by buying these t-shirts so all the money i get from the t-shirts and from the buy me a coffee i invest back into making videos so guys thank you very much for watching thank you for subscribing for commenting for everything you're doing with me in cooperation with me and as usual don't forget to enjoy tennis, play tennis and enjoy the menu Varlbiti. And I will catch you in my next video. Bye guys. Serious, man. You cannot be serious. That ball was on the line.